Hey guys, Shanti Phillips here with my review of Don't Breathe. This is one that I was really looking forward to seeing. You know, I saw the trailers for this one, thought it looked really cool. It's from the director of the Evil Dead remake, which I actually really like that Evil Dead remake. I was actually always hoping they would have done a sequel to that one. I don't know if that's ever going to happen or not. It was kind of, it looked like they were going to do it for a while and then it never ended up happening maybe you know if this one does well which i really think this would it maybe will bring more attention to doing a sequel to that because i feel like that was a really really well done remake and i really liked you know the way the director kind of changed around and made it his own but don't breathe though you know is a very creepy movie and actually has you know the trailer showed it gave away a couple things but it actually had some really different stuff to this movie and also stuff to this movie that i feel like general hollywood audiences are going to be like whoa you know i are almost going to not be ready for some of this because it's not really stereotypical with some of the stuff that happens with some of the twists and some of the things just like just the whole idea this is not like a real typical movie like that you've seen a million times it does have some similarities um, to the people under the stairs a little bit with them basically kind of finding out about this house that has all this money in this and then when they're getting kind of stuck in there and their stuff is like crawling around through the walls and stuff like that. So it's definitely got a similar kind of like with the dog and things like that feel to people under the stairs which is one of my favorite movies. I always really love that movie. Also I feel like one of the most underrated Wes Craven movies next to Deadly Friend. You know the ones that you know you don't hear talked about as much as like you know Nightmare on Elm street and scream and things like that but people in the series is one of the ones you just don't hear people talk about as much but always really love that movie basically though the concept of this movie is about a group of these three friends and they're living in detroit and they use detroit as they filmed it really well with giving it because you know detroit has a lot of areas that are abandoned a lot of areas that are really run down and the houses have really gone you know really bad shape and people have kind of moved out just basically abandoned areas and a group of these friends that are there and they really are desperate to get out of Detroit so they're kind of going around to uh, really like ritzy houses that have a lot of money because the one friend's father works for the security company so he has access to their their you know their keys you know to get into the house and codes and stuff so they can kind of get in and basically rob the place and then you know lock the place up and make it look like you know not look like they broke in the way they did with using his keys and the codes and all that kind of stuff but basically they're kind of going around stealing like electronics and little things to kind of sell to try and just get money to try and hopefully be able to at some point move out of the area and get to somewhere else and they basically find out though about this one guy who had this big settlement and had all this money and he's the blind guy and they found out though that he had all this money in this house and he and they, they think that he has it somewhere hidden in there so they kind of plan this really big robbery of getting into this house and stealing the money from him of course though you know the guys you see from the trailer as well the guy is blind and you know he has since he can't see anything he has like extreme abilities with you know with hearing and kind of is like really he's also ex-military so he has all those kind of skills but basically though they end up breaking into this house and when as soon as they get in there though things go horribly horribly wrong and they're kind of hunted by this guy in the house and kind of having to sneak around and try and they say don't breathe because you really can't make a sound or you know this guy's going to get you and it really was seriously a very tense movie. The trailers, though, do give away a couple things. You know, you see in the trailers, like, they don't really give it away, but they kind of hint at a couple things that are going to happen. But, like, the last half uh, of the movie, because, like, really, really picks up and really, like I said, goes some really different directions. And I really thought this was very well done. Like I said, this director, though, who did Evil Dead, I th I've really liked his stuff. I really like Jane Levy, you know, who starred in Evil Dead, and she was in Fun Size, and I think Suburgatory. Um, she's also very good. She did a really good job in this movie. Everyone did a good job in this movie, especially the actor who plays the blind guy, because he does the whole movie really with just sort of emotions. There's not. It's a movie too that doesn't have tons of dialogue. It's more just sort of things happening and kind of creeping around and just like you know that kind of aspect. But I would highly recommend you guys check this one out. Really, like I said, thought this one was. In 
extremely tense movie. Very well done. You know, it's getting really good reviews online. It's actually very deserving of these reviews. Sometimes when I see movies that are kind of like everyone's kind of talking about, you know, review wise or is getting a lot of praise, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, I don't see what was so good about that, or I don't always, you know, see it as amazing. There's been a couple ones recently that have been like that. This, on the other hand, was actually very good. And like I said, very as good to me as the Evil Dead remake. I think even better than the Evil Dead remake. But like I said, I really did love that remake. I thought that was a really one of the top remakes I've seen in a long time. But this one, like I said, would highly recommend this one. Also really love the music in this. Really cool, tense, creepy music. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know below what you guys saw the film. Anyway though, guys, thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.